Hello all, this is D Swank. I am in Space Engineers, and today, as the title suggests, I'm taking a look at this new mod pack by Spacebar. And the big reason that I'm looking at it is, well, we... These are the vanilla bridge blocks, which are kind of sad. Which means the majority of people are using, well, Colts. Because it's become the standard. And Colts is, Colt is an old mod. And because it's an old mod, there's features that are no longer used. Like the, or we don't use. Like um, the ability to have LCDs actually having functional readouts on them. Um, things like that. I mean, this is... Colts is pretty much a mod pack that an, was passed off to another modder that was passed off to another modder. And it's... It's been maintained. And it's... It's for what it is, for its age and everything else. It's a wonderful mod pack. Uh, it's kind of become the standard bridge console mod. And there's buttons and the hangy doodads that are wonderful and stuff like that. But over here, we have a new contender to beat them out. And it uses a lot of the new features that Space Engineers has. We have this little Dumahuki, which... Um, excuse me while I go run underneath the uh, platform here. I just and throw a reactor down, so everything turns on. There we go. Um, this little Dumahuki here, come on, is a projector. Similar to the one that we got in our wonderful DLC. Or that you can get mods that do the exact same thing for. Alright. Now, over here, we have just the standard, and I'm going to bring up my welder so I get the full names of these, standard control console. We've got lots of little levers. We've got one, two, three, four, five LCDs. I'm not sure if that's an LCD over there. Let's take a look. Okay, one... we got LCD panels. One, two, three, four, five five, six. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm thinking that the letters there is an LCD panel. I'm not sure about the ones on the side. They're probably not, because if you're flying, you don't really see them. So, probably not. We've got cup holder, and apparently a mug or a cup over there. So, this this seat comes fully equipped. And let's see how much it costs. Alright. Interior plate, computers, construction components, displays. Let's take a look. Interior plate. This costs more displays. Computers, same. Construction components. Different order, but about the same total. Motors for... Yeah, I mean, cost is comparable. And let's take a look here. Ah. Yeah, I'd say the cost is comparable on all three, so yeah. Um, so we have the standard console, we have the engineer's console, which eh, looks pretty good. Uh, we have how many LCDs? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten keyboard, ten LCD panels. Nice. Navigator's console. Looks good. We've got all the LCDs. I like the circle in the middle. We've got the captain's chair. Which, not bad. I don't understand why the captain has two joysticks. 
And we have Salt Cola. Ah, nice. For those that don't know, Spacebar has a uh, salt reactor um, that generates power from your health. Okay, now we've got a corner. A proper square corner. And if anything, this one block makes it, for me, superior to Colt. Mostly because Space Engineers is a square based game. So you don't have this wasted space right here. And yes, this looks good for like if you're having a a greeting desk of some sort or something like that. I like this. But, mm, corner is good. And unfortunately, well, fortunately, we have a replacement for that massive engineering console that was in one of Xiao's um, mods, like the used equipment or whatever. I believe it was Xiao. But I'm happy we have a replacement. And we have the LCDs on it. I would... And this is just a personal thing, because I see a lot of uses for myself in it. But if we had... If there was a way to kind of have, like, an, a second variant of this corner that has LCD pan Like, two large LCD panels um, that go up. So basically standard block height. And we could put things on it, on those, that, uh, those LCDs. Or maybe make like four over there and four here, so it's like four monitors, and it could be like a security station LCD, or a, a security station seat. Um, I mean, that, that would be my only critique for this entire mod pack, is that. And then we have a corner piece that has LCDs. Oh, good, we have button panels, too. Oh, and they're numbered. Nice. So, we have a button panel with LCDs on it. This is just another rehash of that. So, we have a replacement for this. We have a replacement for this. We have a... Excuse me. A replacement for pretty much all of the standard seats that Colts give us, gives us. Um, and it, it, you can tell it's a different style. Um, some of these, well, it's clear that this was based off of a existing series, when you look at it, if you know of the series. Um, I, I like it. They're they're fairly universal. There's a couple of downsides that Colts follows through with relatively well, like the fact that all the consoles actually work together in some form or fashion. They kind of they all match up. Where it's pretty much the corner, this piece, this corner. Yeah, the the captain seat doesn't merge up, so let me... And I should point out that these all are available. G-Menu, and you scroll through. So, Engineer's Console. See, they don't meet, meet up. Navigator's Console. Eh, don't meet up. Uh, Captain's Console doesn't meet up, so... I mean, those all are more freestanding. They work together in a unit, so if you built your bridge correctly, they'd be great. Uh, let's go to our next little thing I'm going to look at, which is build state. <coughs> okay, first build state. I guess this is first build state, that other was second. Okay. 
So three build states. We go to a shiny metal kind of rough version of it. And then do we go to the wire? Wire seat. Seat's gone, wire console. Okay. All right. Wire seat. So the they have four. Because there's this state. There is the built-up this state and wire seat. And then there is the built-up seat and then the complete state. And I imagine that's the case for all... This is what you get when you don't use gravity on your display. Um, and then, let's see. Hello. Eh, it's not wanting to grind. There we go. Alright. Wire. Yep. Alright. So, there we go. Those are the build states. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, let's see. I guess the only thing left for me to mess with, and I kind of want to take a look. Let's come over here. Let's select this. Yeah, let's, let's pull you. Uh, they don't quite mesh. But it's an acceptable, acceptable level. I like it. I guess... You could continue to use Colt for the features that it doesn't get, that Spacebars doesn't give you. Um, I'd love, I'd love, love, love to see some button panels in this style. From Spacebar. I w like the full button panel like this one. Or like this one. Just because I kind of like that. I'd like to see some hanging panels in the Spacebar style. And, well, most one of the things that I, for Deco stuff, Deco work, that I will do with Colt, and it actually kind of works, and I, I'd i love it if we saw this from uh, Space Bars as well, if he does button panels and things like that, is... See, you can turn Colt kind of like this, and it works. So, I mean, it looks kind of like a computer. You, you can have this as... You know, in your Star Destroyer walkthrough. But I don't know how if this pack is complete, if he's planning to include more. Um, I'm sure if, uh, if you ask nicely, which I may, I will, um, I will ask very nicely. Please, please, Lord High Space Bar. Expand this. Include a few more pack, uh, blocks because they would be awesome. It just they can be inspired by the anime with uh, flying ships. I I think that's space battleship Terramisu or something like that. But anyway, um, yeah, uh, I'm gonna put a link to this uh, to his mod pack. It's already front page on the workshop. But, uh, yeah, uh, in case you haven't seen it, go download it. It's awesome. I love it. It is going to be probably integrated into a lot of my designs, replacing some of Colt's, if nothing else, for this corner panel here. That is going to be replacing some blocks that I'm... because I like the way this fills up the space. Oh my god, this is awesome. But yes, um, I'm gonna go ahead, leave this here, check the description, and I will see you 
next time. Until then, bye bye